enough time to sort out all the fights, yeah. to sort out all the lies. Oh, baby, yeah. Oh, no. There was a part of me that knew that, and still I'm caught by surprise. Oh. I thought you'd always be mine. Oh, yeah. I guess our dreams fell asleep. There's no passion in the comatose. Yeah. Baby, come down. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I deep clean my couch. I did get a lot of questions and comments in regards to this, so I'm going to take you guys along the way and show you guys how I make it smell nice and fresh in here. I'm going to remove all of the couch cushions and throw them in the wash. I'm also going to be moving over the couch and sweeping all that gunk from under there. It's a lot. It's you guys will see, I'll show you guys in just a minute. Also, I'm pretty sure there's a wild mess under there. There's probably crumbs, toys, all of the above. I'm gonna do a little montage and show you guys the mess that's on the couches. You can't see it from far away, which is why I wanna show you up close the stains and why I'm cleaning it. Also, I just like to do it as a routine, a monthly routine, but let's go ahead and get started. So here is one of the first of many, that's a milk stain. I don't even know what that is. That's probably chocolate from Riley. We got some more stains up there. Just the couches are all pulled and out of place. They need to be fluffed. Uh, there's not too many stains, but there's enough for me to clean and just really deodorize. I look in the mirror, who's looking back at me? I don't know what happened. Let me know down in the comments below how you guys clean your couches. Do you do them on a monthly basis? Also, what do you clean your couches with? I do know that once I do get a new couch, I won't be buying one that does not have removable slip covers because it just makes your life so much more difficult when you're trying to wash them. I hate that the back of this couch does not come off, so that's why I go in later and scrub them. But overall, I just wish that I had a couch that had a removable slip cover. So that's definitely what I will be looking for in a future couch. Okay, so you guys can already see from afar how bad it is. But let me take you in a little bit closer and show you guys. We have lip gloss, toys, like I said. Oh, that's a barrette, part of her little Barbie doll set. Some, what is that, Skittles. Nerf gun bullets, crumbs, that is so disgusting. This was all under the cushions. So nasty. So I'm gonna whip out the vacuum now and just vacuum this up because it's so gross. More Skittles, just nasty, nasty. So we're gonna get rid of all of this right now. Guess we weren't meant to be. I know we had problems. I thought we could fix them. But we got tired There's nothing left to do but to say goodbye and try to move on I'll get over Today I'm using the Hoover Whole House Rewind Vacuum and this was one of the first vacuums that we purchased living here in this apartment so I'm outgrown it, I'm not a 100% fan of it um, I feel like the suction is great but it could be better as far as the attachments it only comes with this um, red bristle brush and that was it that, that's all that i had in my box so i would love it if i had one of those uh ones that are kind of curved at the tip that way i can get in all the nooks and crannies but here i am doing the best that i can i did remove the attachment that i had on because the suction was not as powerful but once i removed it the suction did a lot better before i began i just quickly removed any large items that were on the couch such as the lip gloss little candy stuff and barrettes and so forth i did that just because i did not want my vacuum to get clogged up as the suction is not that great already so that's just to protect your vacuum i do recommend doing that before you begin Over you only wish that i knew how to go on
Have any of you been watching The Umbrella Academy on Netflix? I just started season two and oh my god you guys, it is so good. If you have not started The Umbrella Academy, I highly recommend this show, especially if you're into nonfiction, uh, action, drama type of uh drama type of tv shows this is the show for you i'm telling you guys it is so good i've also recently started gray's anatomy i know gray's anatomy is an older show but uh, my cousin put me on it and i'm addicted already i've binge watched the first season already i know there's so many more seasons left to go but i'm so into it right now if you guys have any netflix recommendations for me leave me a comment down below i'm always looking for new shows to watch i get so sad when my shows end because then it's like what do i have to watch now so please leave me those down below okay now back to couch talk to wash them today i'm using gain detergent OxyClean and the Unstoppables that just infuse your clothes and make them smell 10 times better. One thing that I've been seeing a lot lately is people using Tide detergent to mop their floors with. I think I'm gonna try that in an upcoming video and see how I like it and give you guys my honest review. I first seen this done over on Shanti's Lifestyles channel and then I saw Melina Brooke do it as well and i'm like okay something good must be going on here because melina brooke also mentioned a few other people that she knows that likes it so i'm pretty excited to find out what the rage is i don't think we got enough time to sort out all the fights yeah. to sort out all the lies oh baby yeah there was a part of me that knew that And still I'm caught by surprise oh. I thought you'd always be mine oh, yeah. I guess our dreams fell asleep There's no passion in the comatose yeah. Baby going down, 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 down yeah. Baby going down, 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 down yeah. Tried so hard to stay afloat Yeah, we keep moving like the river goes yeah. Baby going down, 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 down Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I thought it's time I'm letting you go She's about to jump on all of these. Watch. That one's heavy. The joys of being a kid. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> So I have a home goods and Target haul for you guys today. I'm so excited with my purchase. I just love everything that I got. I think I found some really cool stuff. So starting off with Target, I picked up these mini trees. They are $3 a piece. I love them so much. I think they're so pretty for the spring. And I also love that they come in this little paper bag bottom. I think that's a nice addition to them. I think that's so cute. And then I also picked up these stems, these eucalyptus stems. These were also $3 a piece and I got two of those. I also grabbed the topiary from the Target Dollar Spot. I'll show you guys in just a minute. I already put it out on display. And then last but not least from Target, I picked up this pillow. I believe this is the Threshold brand. It is literally the softest pillow ever. I love the fringe detailing along the sides. It's super cute, it's neutral, and it goes really well with my decor. Really quick before I move on with the decor haul, this is the topiary that I was talking about from the Target Dollar Spot also, and that was um, that was three dollars as well. I almost forgot. I also got these from the Dollar Spot. Aren't these so cute? You know, I had to pick something up for my girl Shandy's lifestyle. That's my boo. These were five dollars a piece, and I just love them. I love them. Love them. Love them. These would be really cute sitting on a bathroom counter, maybe a small table. I could see them pretty much decorated for all seasons. Moving on to home good items. I picked up this three-tier tray and how gorgeous is this, you guys? It is huge and it was only $39.99. I think that was a complete steal. Usually tier trays are an arm and a leg. Next from home goods, I picked up this bowl. My sister actually spotted this out. I love the detailing. I love that wood color. I think it is so gorgeous. 
This is probably one of my most favorite finds from this haul, aside from the tear tray. Next up, I got this little Valentine's Day sign. It says, Cupid's Love Candy Company, boxes of chocolate roses, candy hearts, always handmade with love every, what does that say? Every February. And then I came across these mason jar containers. I think these are so cute. So it's glass and then they just have a syllable lid. And yeah, I mean, who doesn't love anything by Mason? <laughs> and those were $5.99. I also picked up the Half-Baked Harvest Cookbook. I'm so excited for this cookbook because I've been looking for it for the longest time. I'm sure I could have found it at a Barnes & Noble, but I have not been there in a very long time. But I found it and I'm so happy and excited to try all of the recipes in here because I know they're going to be good. This book was $16.99. Last but not least is this basket and how pretty is this? I love the woven detail. It's very, very aesthetically pleasing and I plan to put this in the corner of our living room. Here's what the mason containers look like outside of the box. It just has a plastic syllable lid and a glass bottom. So it is much later in the day. It's about 10 o'clock at night and I'm so tired, but I'm going to finish these couches and finish up the task that I planned for the day. I got a little sidetracked because I needed to go to the grocery store. I also needed to cook dinner and then I had to give the girls a bath. So that's all done now. So I can go ahead and continue on to the stuff that I was doing before. So right now I'm going to scrub the uh, parts of the cushions that are not removable so those back there and i'm going to show you guys what i use to clean my couches so i'm showing you what i use to clean on the parts that don't come off that cannot fit that could not be placed into the washer what am i trying to say here let me just show you couches so over here I have some oxyclean I like this because it's an odor blaster it says for sweaty musty towels and body odor I feel like that's perfect for couches because you know people sit on it all day long got booty sweats and all kinds of stuff you don't even know what could be on your couches and it's a versatile odor and stain remover and then over here I just have some tide powder detergent I didn't put a whole bunch it's just a little tiny bit as you can see just like that amount there and then you want to get an old brush bristle brush that you don't care about um, I always use this on my couches I do clean it after every use and then just an old container that you also don't care about mm -hmm. One tip that I suggest while doing this process on your couch is to not use a heavy hand. You want to lightly brush your couches, that way you're not ruining your fabric. As you can see on some areas, I'm going um, sideways and back and forth. That's just because there are some angles that's harder to reach and get to, but I am using a gentle hand, although it does not look like it. Another tip that I have is to be cautious of the amount of powder that you're adding into your water. I only say this because I don't go off measurements. I just kind of do it by hand, so I can't tell you exactly how much I'm using. I'm gonna be careful because if you add too much powder, your couches will have a powdery residue on them, and you don't want that. If you decide that you just don't wanna use powder at all as far as the OxyClean, you can go ahead and use the spray. I personally just wanted to try the powder OxyClean today because usually powders are more efficient, but in my honest opinion, I think I do like the spray a lot better.
all clean now. So glad that I got that done. It was a lot of work, but it feels good. Also, this is the dirty water. It's not as bad as what it could be because I do try to keep up with it often. Yeah, it smells so good in here. Right now, the cushions are drying. So I think I'll come back to this in the morning. I'll go ahead and throw on the cushion covers, put the cushions back, and then sweep and mop the area. So that will be for tomorrow morning. So it is the next morning. So now I'm just going to go ahead and quickly put on these cushion covers. There's no need for me to really explain on how to put cushion covers back on because it's pretty self-explanatory. So I'm just gonna go ahead and let some music play and get this all done. Another broken plate, another called off date We never seem to get it right Another heart attack, words that we can't take back We are the reason opposites attract Once you slam the door on the second floor I regret it all When I think it through I can help the way I feel for you you make me lose my mind like all the time It still feels right Stuck in an endless fight like every night It still feels right Even the worst can sting I wanna change your thing Cause without you everything needs At yours, baby, let's talk until we're fine You've been in bed for days Empty without me, you say Can't you just magically turn up in mine? Then you knock on my door on the second floor And I feel okay We just made it through And I love the way I feel for you this cushion right here was probably the hardest out of all of them. It was so big and bulky. And I did notice that since the cushion covers were air dried, they did shrink a little bit, which is so weird because usually they only shrink in the dryer. But now they do fit tighter, which I do kind of prefer so that my couch cushions don't look all loose and raggedy. So that's just a little FYI. <laughs> I was at the wrong place at the right time Cause suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes We were conversing into the night sky When you took my hand said let's leave now Don't wanna be shy I will let my guard down Don't wanna be shy Now, doesn't that look so much better? It's crazy how much a difference cleaning your couches can make. Now we can sit and enjoy our time together with it smelling all nice and fresh. It does take up a lot of time, but trust me, you guys, it's so worth it. The process in the end. And you guys can see that all of the stains have come up and the couch is looking good as new. Now it's time to sweep and mop the area. Is anyone else stuck with their decor after Christmas? I've been really going back and forth between deciding what colors to use in my home for everyday decor. 
I've been thinking about using sage green or a very pretty blue that the Hearth and Hand collection has put out. I just picked up a runner from the Hearth and Hand collection and I love it so much. So I'm thinking I may go more towards the blue and then possibly add some sage green accents in there. I don't know. I'll probably upload a video of me styling some spaces in our home just to give you guys some inspiration and some ideas on decorating for every day. So let me just show you guys really quick all the mess that we have going on back here. So you can already tell there's just a whole bunch of random things. Crumbs, more markers, a chopstick, some cereal crumbs, my child's pacifier. I was looking for that. A water bottle, Barbie doll stuff, candy, more crumbs, money, just stuff that should not be back here. So. Let me go ahead and sweep this up. Hey, hiding up and grinding, multiplying. I've been trying to get my weight up, staying prayed up, meditating and taking time away. You always posting up pictures, trying to look like you're winning. I'm writing rhymes in the kitchen, soaking in moments we live in, yeah. You got the nerve to be on me. Faking your life for the IG. If you got my number, don't add me. Cause baby, I'm on high and heat. You guys, it was so dusty back here. Literally everything was getting stuck to my sock, which is why you see me pulling stuff off of them. Also, I did just get this broom from Target. I'll link it down below. I really like this broom because the bristles are soft. And the one that I had before this one, the bristles were extremely hard and it was kind of scratching up my floor just a little bit. And I do find that this one sweeps up more nicely. I've also placed an order for a mop so you guys will no longer be seeing me mopping my floors with my Swiffer and a microfiber cloth. So that's in place. It'll be here hopefully within three days. So I'm excited for that. Baby, don't check for me. Taking time out to be and live my life off screen. Taking time out to be and live my life. Hey. Taking just to be and live. You guys have probably seen or caught on, but we finally got a T cabinet i'm so excited i picked this up from facebook marketplace and it just really transforms this area and makes it feel so much more homey and cozy i don't have it decorated yet i just have a few pieces on here which probably won't stay the lantern might stay but the other stuff i just kind of threw on here just to kind of give it some more life yeah i'm so in love with it i think if it it's perfect in this space although this was not the one that I initially wanted, but this one came across and I was like, you know what? It was only, I think 120, either 120 or 150, one of those. But it was a really good price for a TV cabinet. TV cabinets are usually much more expensive and it was pre-owned. So I did make sure that I sanitized it really well before I brought it into the house. And I also wiped it down really good. I love that it has hidden storage. So it has two cubbies on this side and two more on this side. So I think what I'll do here is probably put our games and stuff um, and get, get rid of some of that clutter in the closet in the hallway. So I'll do that in another video, but yeah. This is our new TV cabinet. Thank you guys so much for tuning into today's video. Your support means so much. I thank each and every one of you. If you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. 
For those of you that are new, hello and welcome to my channel. I have so much more content to share with you guys. I really hope that I was able to give at least one person some motivation to clean their homes today and to get up and do something productive. And until then, I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye guys.